For a great day trip from Naples, Positano, or Sorrento, catch the early morning jet boat to the Isle of Capri. The Isle of Capri was first made famous as the vacation hideaway of Roman emperors. In the 19th century, it was the haunt of romantic age aristocrats on their grand tour of Europe. While the island is small, just four miles by two miles, there's plenty to see and do. To get the most out of our quick visit, I'm meeting my friend and fellow tour guide, Roberta Mazzarella. Our first stop is the reason most come to Capri, to enter the fabled Blue Grotto. The Blue Grotto experience is more than just visiting a cave. Getting there, getting in, and getting back is a scenic hoot. You enjoy a fast cruise part way around the gorgeous island seeing bird life and local fishermen at work, all under dramatic limestone cliffs. So most of the Isle of Capri is just like this. Limestone cliff straight down into the beautiful blue water. Look at this cliff. From the water all the way up to the top, Roman emperors loved this because it was easy to defend. Arriving at the mouth of the grotto, you find a busy distribution center. As the tourist-laden boats arrive, awaiting dinghies converge and visitors clamber gingerly into their little boats. The entry hole is small. If the water's too rough, it becomes too dangerous. Dinghies can't get in, and visitors are turned back. We're lucky today. There's a little chop, but dinghies are squeezing in. The rafish rowers jostle their way to the tiny hole. Tourists scrunch down safely below the gunnels and the guides pull fast and hard on the cable at the low point of the swells to squeeze you into the grotto. Inside the 60-yard long cave, the sun reflects off the limestone bottom, giving the grotto its famous brilliant blue. Your man rows you around, sings a little O Solo Mio, and lets you enjoy the iridescent magic of the moment. <laughs> 